Okay, welcome to my presentation of my new programming language, 3DPL or the 3D programming language. First, let me start with a quick introduction to the commands of the 3D programming language. Uh, for example, we're going to use QB. Uh, QB stands for cube, so I'm going to make a cube called A. I'm going to put it in the center of the screen at coordinate 0, 0, 0. And there it is. If you notice, when I finished typing, it appeared. Now, I'm going to put it, change the coordinates from the coordinates from 0 to 5. And as you can see, it has moved to the right. Let's change the Y coordinate to 5. And as you can see, it, it moved up. All this happens in real time as I type it. Okay, let's try one more command. Uh, CL, which means color. Let's color cube num cube A with the color, let's say green. And there you can see it appeared green. If I change green to red, it'll be red. But I like green, so let's make it green. Okay. So these were just a, this is just an introduc introduction to how the commands work. Basically, it's very similar to JavaScript, but with the special commands for which I added for handling the cubes. Okay, so now let me show you, let's clear the program. Now let me show you what's possible to make with it. First, let's show, let's go to, let's, uh, let's show you the example number 16, which is Arkanoid. I'm just going to start it. And, and, uh, oh, I missed the ball. Let me stop it and start it again. Oh, not coming in 3D, but okay. Um, there, it's a little bit buggy. Uh, this is Arkanoid or Breakout, whatever you, whatever name you know it by. And it's in 3D. Well, not you can't see it very much in 3D because the perspective has changed to seeing it straight, uh, straight forward. But anyway, it's Arknoid, and it's made in the 3D programming language. Let me show you another another program that's the most the most advanced program I made up to now in the language. This I call Space Travel, but um, basically it's a three. It's a it's a 3D first person shooter, which means I can shoot these asteroids. Boom. Let me get the other asteroid. Boom. Yes. Um, there's some asteroids behind me. Uh, boom. Missed that. Moved it up. Boom. Okay, and the last asteroid. Well, okay. So these examples at the top, that's clear. These examples at the top basically take you from the first thing, which is how to make a cube. Oops. Sorry. How to make a cube, all the way to how to make the 3D space shooter. So it'll teach you how to program and teach you how to program in 3D. So it should be fun. So first, when you go from a cube, the next example is how to move the cubes around, as I showed you at the beginning. The third example is how to make three cubes. The fourth example is how to color those three cubes. The fifth example is how to rotate those three cubes. Let's start that one. By the way, uh, the code that's on the top called declarations is the things you want to happen only once at the beginning of the program. And the pro and the code that's in the update function happens once every frame of the, pro uh, the of the iterations of the pro every frame of the program. Okay. What example was I on? Let's see. Five, I think. Yeah. Six. Six is kind of the same as five, except it moves the cubes. Uh, 
7 moves and rotates. I'm gonna skip that one. 8 kind of is... I'm gonna skip 8 too. Now we have the example of 4 loops. Now this example 9 4 loops can... I'm gonna make a a video explaining for loops in this language later. But for now, I'm gonna make many videos explaining more things in detail. But for now, just realize that I can like modify the for loop. This for loop is making four cubes. Instead of making four cubes, I'm gonna change it to make nine cubes. And um, instead of starting from cubes, from cube, from the position zero, which is the center of the screen, I'm gonna tell it to start from before that, and then we have a whole bunch of cubes. Anyway, that's four loops. After that we have functions, which also requires a video of its own. I'll explain that later. Um, then this one is a little bit more interesting. We have... This one will move until there's a collision detection. Until collision is detected. So we started it, and the red cube moves until it collides with the blue cube. Let's see that again. Yeah. Um, which was this? 11, 12. These 12 and 13 move the camera, but that's not so interesting, so let's skip to 14. 14 is the same as the previous one, except that it actually deletes the other object. If you notice, all of this is just this amount of code. It's really simple. So, go, and when it collides, the other object disappears. Let's see that again. Yeah. And 15. Yeah, 15 is a is a controllable cube with the arrow keys. So I'm going to start this one. Now, using my keyboard, I can control the cube going back, left, right, forward, back, in any direction. Put it close to the camera. Oops, it went too far. Or make it go further down. Do everything. Okay. And then 16 and 17 are the fuller examples of Arkanoid and the space game. Now, there's one more feature I'm working on, which is uh, down upload to cloud and download from cloud, which is still a little bit buggy, so bear with me with that. Um, let's download a program from the cloud. Uh, I like this double rotating cubes. You'll get the description of the download, which is these cubes show a nice effect, and a warning telling you that the program can harm your computer, as any program can. Um, and we tell it to load the program or not to load it, so you'll load it. And here it is. This program will create two cubes and then rotate them in opposite directions. I'm going to start it. And this program was downloaded from the cloud, which is, the cloud means my server. Okay, so I hope you're excited about my programming language as I am. And, uh, next, uh, and follow my next videos, which will explain how to use it in further detail. I'm gonna go bit, maybe one, maybe I'm gonna explain each tutorial bit by bit. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.